The Ghana at Work campaign is a platform which highlights the flagship programs and its impact in the lives of the people. The objective of this program is to properly educate each citizen on how to benefit from various programs from each sector. My name is Bibi Bright and you are welcome to Ghana at Work. The government of Ghana, through the Ministries of Fisheries and Agriculture Development and Transport, is developing 12 landing sites and its related ancillary facilities across the country. The selected areas for the construction of the London sites are Tashi, Axim, Discove, Elmina, Winniba, Mumford, Senyabreku, Gomwa Fete, Mori, Keta, Jamestown, and Anloga. Work has completed on the Anloga London sites in the Volta region. The development of the Fish London site is aimed at safeguarding the process of launching and landing for artisanal fishing canoes. The London site will help to create and maintain a hygienic environment for the processing and handling of fish. This reduces post-harvest losses and adds value to the fish caught by the artisanal fishermen. The construction of the London site will create employment as well as generate employment in port management and other ancillary services. Government's vision to transform the fisheries sector and its industry is clearly on course. Where we are standing is the Anoga London site. It's a fishing landing site that the Ministry of Fisheries and the Fisheries Commission, in collaboration with the World Bank, decided to put up at this landing site. This is a lagoon landing site. Uh, we intend to construct some landing sites at the marine beaches and also the lagoon and, and river and landing beaches. So this is the very first one in all the things that we want to do. Before our fisher folks, they used to have a lot of problems because they don't have the place where they use after going to fishing to sell the fish. So when this project was constructed for them, they are all happy that now they have a place where they can sell their catch, especially the fish. And at the end also, formerly, our fisher folks, when they are back from the fishing, they used to scatter around the market area and sell. And some of the things we think that it's not the best because the handling of the fishes, because if they don't have a place which is inhabitant for them to, for the fish to be processed, at the end, a lot of unhygienic conditions will emerge. When you come to land this site, you can see that you have a lot of giraffe. 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 People from other places sell fish along the roadside and even in the community. But now that the pro project has come, I think if we started selling here, no one can, can go to the roadside to sell their fish. Today, if you go to most fishing landing sites, the way the fishes are handled and the conditions at the landing sites are not very good, not very hygienic. The conditions are not quite hygienic. The fishes, the handling of the fish doesn't ensure prolonged shelf life of the fish. So sometimes with service losses and of course contamination of the fish from the time they are landed to the time they are processed. And these are the issues that we believe that they, this country has moved forward so much. So we need to work together to improve. So we, if you had been here before the project was put up, 
probably you could have seen the place how it was but now we have built this site remove all those things we have put uh, granite over there so as soon as the canoes are landed the fishes are brought into this facility we have a proper handling site over there and then of course uh, insulators for handling and this ensures that the fishes are processed as soon as they come from the way and they are stored in a better container to ensure that you know those nutrients are still retained for a longer period before they are processed. The facility also has a processing facility, which is a hotel oven, so that if they don't want to smoke, they can just go there and smoke. So that is the issue that we tend to address. Since the 1970s, women fish processors have depended on the choco smoker, a locally made oven used for processing fish. Decades later, it emerged that the high levels of smoke emissions from the choco oven, as well as the oil from the fish that drips directly into the fire, leaves the fish with high levels of chemicals called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAH, which could cause irritation of the eyes and breathing passages, cancer and other diseases in the near future. To improve the health benefits of smoked fish for consumers, government, with support from the private sector, has developed a new oven known as a hotel oven to phase out the choco smoker. The new ovens emit less smoke and, therefore, smoked fish from these ovens have insignificant levels of PAH compared to others from other smokers. Most of our women were complaining of smoke, they were having eye problems and anemia. As a matter of fact, government and the Fisheries Commission as well joined the USAID, joined the CSIR and brought about this Ahoto oven. That is an improved form of this smoking compartment. This takes away the oil that burns back into the fire and that causes the uh, smoke. And this has been a very good uh, venture that government actually brought about. until 2017, work had stalled on the construction of the Anomabo Fisheries College in the Central Region. As part of measures to revamp Ghana's fisheries industry, government has taken steps to complete the construction of the first phase of the Fisheries College. The college will help in the training of graduates, technicians and practitioners in the fisheries and aquaculture industry. This will help provide critical manpower needs and the modernization and sustainable management of fisheries resources in Ghana to enable it contribute more effectively to the economic growth and overall development of the country. The first phase of construction consists of four structures made up of a two-story administration block, a two-story fish laboratory, a three-story classroom block, 
consisting of lecture halls, a library, a conference hall, seminar halls, and a reception, and a two-story hostel block, and access road from Insamfro Junction to the project site. The project is expected to be completed by December 2019. So as I'm talking now, we've gone to 80% of the project. The available materials left to finish are all at the site. So for now, we don't have any constraints. Everything is going on smoothly. And we are praying that by the end of this year, we will hand over. We are at the project site. We call this project the Fishes College which is being put up by the Ministry of Fisheries uh, in conjunction with the University of Cape Coast. This is a project that we intend to train Ghanaian youth and especially uh, children of fishers in all aspects of fishing. We we'll do marine fisheries here, we we'll do fisheries biology, fisheries health and aquaculture. All these things will be studied here. Now we visited to look at the state of the construction that has been going here for some time. The way project we are been a time ago. The man was sending my fiha from my work to Asan Waba. I'm the project we are been in Papa school for the bar. I'm in for the bridge, but maybe the other bar. I was enjoy. In France, one municipality is going to benefit extensively, and for that matter, central region, when this college uh, sets up, our fisher folks who do the usual fishing will now come here and be trained so that they will even get the sense of stopping this illegal fishing because they will get acquire more skills from the training they are going to uh, get here so that we improve upon their, their fishing activities and for that matter, our living standards will improve. We want to thank the president for deciding to continue with this very good project and bringing it to this state. We are so grateful to see almost a, a nearly completion of the project. And we are grateful to you, Mr. President, for good work done. Thank you very much.